The Kardashians are the greatest modification of modern white supremacy. What is up you guys? This is your girl Sandra. Welcome back to Sandra Said What? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you got to do under this video. Um, <clears throat> if this is your first time here, thank you for joining. If you are returning also, thank you for joining me. Um, today we are going to be talking about something, ooh, a celebrity. I do not like to do celebrity topics. Why? Because everybody's entitled to their lives, whatever, whatever. But there are certain, you know, intersections that kind of mingle with our lives that sometimes, you know, I feel like was important to discuss. And these specific celebrities, y'all, um, I could take them. I, I don't care for them. I'm not going to lie. I ain't even going to cap. I do not care for them. So, today, we are going to be discussing the KKK clan. The Kardashian clans. Kardashian Jenner clan. So, this specific video uh, was requested because I noticed how Kim Kardashian keeps gaslighting black people. And because the Kardashians predominantly engage and reproduce with black men and use black men as props or whatever they need to do, people seem to think that the Kardashians are somehow not racist or don't partake in the system of white dominance. That is, the Kardashian family is truly a conglomerate of multicultural racism while still projecting anti-blackness. One of the traits of the Kardashian Jenners is that they have no regards for black history, um, no, not even an acknowledgement. It's just something that's there they take and take from black culture and they profit off of it but there isn't even really an acknowledgement. Don't even acknowledge it. The Kardashian family is truly the epitome of multicultural racism and anti-blackness all in one because they have their selection of blackness, of what it means to be black, certain behaviors, right? or having ass shots, getting their lips injected, even going as far as having mixed babies while, you know, they know how to emulse themselves in black culture while simultaneously clinging on to their whiteness for when it suits them. They can always remove themselves from black culture. And that's why the behaviors of the Kardashian is not it's not a compliment to black culture because black people still have to live the black experience. We can't just remove our costume when it suits us. We can't just take the good parts from black culture and profit off of it, right? We still have to be who we are every day. But they can actually profit off of blackness without even acknowledging blackness at all. They do not care what they take. They don't care how it impacts people and they have no regard for context, history. I think the Kardashian Jenners are a modern version of what it means to um, exude white dominance, okay? And this one, they can't even be checked because because of the fact that they date black men, people assume that, oh, they can't be racist because people think being racist means, um, not racist means you date black men and therefore you can't be racist, which is very far from the truth. The Kardashians are the greatest modification of modern white supremacy. They reinforce the anti-black stigma. It is shown in the way their treatment of black men when they're done with them and black women in particular the way they treat black women once they're done using them for inspiration as their muse or take their man or take from their culture what they need to take for from the culture the, the way they discard black women is prime evidence of how they have a selective way of using black culture to further their budgets their pockets their agenda without any regards to the impact as it currently has on black people deep down the kardashians know that society mistreats black women which is why they mistreat black women knowing that there won't be any justice there won't be anybody who take black women's backs right which just shows you that they are very conscious of their anti-blackness that's what they tried to do to jordan woods it's just unfortunately for them it didn't work they tried to do the same thing for black china but i guess black china came back and said Oh, no, no, way not today. But there have been many fallen victims, black women who have fallen victims to the Kardashian clan. Even look at the way um, it's going with Kanye West. Not to say one way or the other what Kanye is doing is good or bad. But you can tell these are two people. Kim Kardashian doesn't even know Kanye West. He doesn't even, she doesn't understand 
him as a person but as soon as they started having problems she tried to change the narrative not to say that Kanye doesn't have mental health issues but I believe part of the reason why she would put out th that out there is try to, to try to put a pic is to try to paint a picture of him that would have society take her side another way of discarding a black man that she's done with people I think one of the things that frustrate one of the most frustrating things that I've ever seen in recent time in regards to the Kardashians is when Kim Kardashian sported I think was it some kind of braids right and people were calling it the Kardashian braids no Kim Kardashian braids braids are a black culture hairstyle right it's been around since before the Kardashians would even exist for thousands of years right and when black women wear braids and I can tell you for sure depending on black women's hairstyles our treatment in society differs also right when we wear certain more European approved hairstyles we get better treatment now, that's not to say that we don't still get mistreated very far from the truth but the treatment is modified um, but when black women wear braids we looked at as unkempt ghetto black women literally cannot even wear their braids at certain jobs there's this uh, what is it reporter that announced that she finally got to wear her braids on national TV imagine when 2020 2021 2022 the world is supposed to have evolved and a black woman is just now saying finally I can wear my natural hair on TV it's heartbreaking but when you take someone like Kim Kardashian who does it as a costume she can put it on and take it off whenever she wants right and still get where she needs to be in life but black women were actually hindered by the types of hairstyles that we wear because people look at it negatively um, for example black women if we're going for a job we have to consider the type of hairstyle that we wear because it may determine whether or not we get the job so the importance of it is that black hair is not just hair as it pertains to black women but when it's on other people everyone else seems to approve of it and a lot of people would like to say that oh it's a compliment uh, take it as a compliment be flattered it's not so much a compliment it's theft especially when it's being called Kim Kardashian braids I think recently there was a poster that was advertising braids and they had a poster of Kim Kardashian and her hairstyle. This just further reinforces the multicultural anti-blackness that the Kardashians want to be a part of while um, staying as far away from as possible so that they can continue to benefit from white culture and white society. I believe Kim Kardashian did an interview recently where she said that um, she only wears her hair a certain way because her daughter wants her to match it and she knows that you know she doesn't even acknowledge the history behind the hairstyle and she's really gaslighting black people into saying I don't want to do it I'm just doing it for my child but there are so many other things that you do and it's not because of your child and the fact that you negate to speak about that but the fact that she neglect purposefully neglect to speak on all the other things and only pick one thing such as oh it's just the hairstyle but there are so many other things that black people talk about Kim Kardashian being a culture vulture and she purposefully ignores everything is the highest form of ga gaslighting there is and it just shows that she doesn't respect black people she doesn't value black people she is not sorry so she's not going to apologize which I, I'm fine with if you're not sorry don't apologize but don't gaslight us and tell us oh I'm only doing this hairstyle because my daughter wants me to what about all the other things that you continue to do that your daughter has not asked you to do you've been doing things way before your daughter was born was she somewhere telling you in the universe telling you to do it the Kardashians as I said have a history of mistreating black women from black China Jordan Woods Justin Sky um, they have a pattern um, of using black women keeping them around them to emulate them their styles their looks their um, everything right and once they're done with them they discard them they will not only discard them and leave them alone they will go out of their way to make sure that they antagonize them and even bar them from being able to um, profit financially make money and go on TV shows and stuff like that because as we know they do have a lot of influence for example I remember I saw a segment on E, the news channel about um, Dream Kardashian, which is 
Black China and Kim and sorry, Rob Kardashian's daughter. And not one time did they mention they were wishing the little girl a happy first birthday. They had a whole segment talking about their family. Not, you know, E was having the segment talking about the daughter, talking about the child and the family. Not one time did they even mention the child's mother. And I thought, this is the greatest erasure of a black woman that a black woman would conceive a child, birth a child, and you would still choose to completely remove this woman's existence from the history from the conversation about said child and this is what the Kardashians do and because the Kardashians especially Kim Kardashian has this reputation of being a really nice person because she is a really nice person people assume she can't be racist let's be clear racist people aren't going out around being an asshole to everybody Okay, it's just their values and their behaviors that dictates whether or not they're racist. And over and over, history continues to prove that. These Kardashians that, again, use black men and, and women as props to continue to further their agenda to reproduce black babies because they know they will themselves never be black. Okay, so this is the closest they will be to being black, right? This is just continues to show you they are very much intentionally racist and people somehow fail to see that people somehow miss that because they're so nice and because society has convinced themselves that we are now in a post post racial world that um if a man has you know a black a white woman has a child with a black man that means that they can't be racist and the other thing is the way that they reproduce mixed children which is the closest that they'll get to being black themselves right is that they in themselves believe that they are reproducing a better version of blackness while actively um, degrading what it means to be black itself based again on the treatment of their men and women and they go out of their way to portray black women as the negative stereotypes that have haunted us for years whether or not they're true and continue to haunt us on a daily basis and even harm our lives they the Kardashians like to go on campaigns to destroy black womenhood as we know it while they themselves um, continue to um, behave in the same manner that the people the black women that they surround themselves with behave but when it's a black woman that does it the punishment has to be harsh for example let's take a look at Jordan Woods right Jordan Woods if she didn't have Will Smith in her corner Jordan Woods would not be in the public eye as it is they went out of their way to try to destroy Jordan Woods because they believe that Jordan Woods how dare she think she can disrespect me a white woman by going after my man when the Kardashians have a history of sleeping with people's men their own friends men taking black men from the black women they surround themselves with they have the same history but when someone does it to them it's like I can do it because I'm a Kardashian I'm a better version of what it means to be a black woman and a black man will go out of their way for me but you cannot disrespect me because I'm above you and they believe that these men, like Khloe Kardashian, she keeps getting humiliated by this man, okay? And, but the reality is, she started dating the man while the man had a pregnant girlfriend. So, and now he's doing the same thing to her. She can't understand why. It's because she thought, I'm a white woman. He, I'm what he wants, as a lot of white women who date black men believe. I'm what he's he wants. I'm his preference. He's going to treat me better because I'm better. Because he believes I'm better. He knows I'm better. He's, he's going to get his act together. But honey, you're not a preference. You're just a second option. Right? What he wants is a black woman. But he settled for you because of internal racism. So Khloe Kardashian, right? She thought. Tristan was going to change for her because she's white, she's what he wants, she, she's the epitome of what it means to be a woman, she's the preferred woman over everyone else, right? She's a white woman, and not only that, she has the money and power and fame of the Kardashians. So she thought Tristan was going to change for her, and 
she felt to consider that an ain't shit man is not gonna go he's not gonna be shit so if he's treat mistreating a woman and then goes out to say oh this girl is this that that that, that, that and he chooses you that really means you're the second option he couldn't have what he really wanted the type of women that he really wanted because when you look at the people he's cheating with they all look alike and they look nothing like Chloe right so when he goes after what he really wants it's not you and so he starts treating you like he would treat anybody else because at the end of the day the problem is him but you thought because you are a white woman and you thought that um you were superior to black women you could take black men from black women and they would change for you and it doesn't work like that as we know since kim kardashian came on the scene a lot of people have been getting ass shots and people are even dying from it they've literally redefined the beauty standard that we currently know as today the bb the infamous bbl is owed to the kardashians right but when you think about women like sarah bartman and black women who are ridiculed and mocked and treated like objects because their behind looked a certain way that wasn't necessarily european approved the treatment or mistreatment of these women it was inhumane but kim kardashian can plump her ass and people will applaud her and say she's gorgeous right and she still be, you know, she still holds on to her white values and still not get treated any horribly in society. But you have young black girls at the age of six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old because their bodies have developed in a way that they can't even control. People are calling them fast. People are calling them little, you know, calling them all kinds of names just because their bodies have already developed something they have no control over. That's the difference. So the Kardashians get all the black benefits without the black trauma that comes with it. They get to have the big ass without ever being ridiculed but from the time they were little girls or being made to feel that you're being over, overly sexual as a child when it's literally this is just what your body looks like. They have never come out and spoken against racism overtly. You would think for people who have actually mixed children they would speak up against overtly against racism they don't the fact is Kim Kardashian is a woman who actively defended an overtly racist man who was making overtly racist statements on on the internet and she continued to defend this man until she faced people were coming for her she didn't even realize that this man was actually racist because she herself deep down hold the same values therefore she doesn't deem those statements as being racist i'm fine with not apologizing if you're not sorry but don't gaslight us and don't try to make us seem like we're stupid don't try to make us seem like we don't understand your games and that you're playing with everything else i'm not gonna even get into it is the ultimate form of disrespect to purposefully not even acknowledge everything else that we're talking about that you continue to do and then just pick one thing that you can in your mind justify when there's no justification Kim Kardashian is and her family they are all anti-black unfortunately anti-blackness it's universal and the Kardashians are very much anti-black they've continued to prove that and I really hope that people will wake up and smell the coffee don't get light us bitch Anyway, you guys, this was my two cents for today's video. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to leave your thoughts, your comment in this under this video. If you agree, disagree, whatever else you have to add to this, let me know. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at Sandra said what at gmail.com. My Instagram is Sandra said what, and I will talk to you later. Bye.